Hello, Brie Firth here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a switch activated light up card featuring Chibitronics light up components. Um, you're going to need three main parts to this card. You're going to need the front, the card front, the light up template, and a card base, which is A2 sized. So it's a four and a quarter by five and a half, and it's scored down the middle. So, um, first we're going to go ahead and build the light up card template, but the card front is already created for you. Um, it has an image heat embossed on the front cover, and the image is from the Hanging Lights stamp set from Alta New. And all we did was heat emboss the stamp, the image with some gold embossing powder. And then we used a little circular die to die cut a hole so that the light will shine through really bright. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and build the template. So first you're going to take a pair of scissors and you're going to cut right on these lines so that the switch can be folded back onto the circuit. And you want to stop cutting right at that kind of dashed line because that's going to be our fold line or score line. So you're going to go ahead and fold that over and then you're going to take a scoring tool or a burnishing tool or anything. You could use your fingers even and just flatten out that crease a little bit. So now whenever we fold it over, it goes right over top of this blue line. So we're gonna take some Chibitronics copper tape. You can use the copper tape. You can use our conductive fabric tape. Um, I'm gonna use the copper tape for today. And you're gonna have, you have two parts to the circuit. You're gonna have a negative track and a positive track. And so first we're going to follow the negative track. And we're going to start right where the battery is. First, actually, I want to make sure that our card front lines up with our template. So I'm going to line this up on top. And then I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to mark where that is, where that hole is onto the template. And it's right there. So, the, so now I know that's where I want the sticker light to exist. So I'm going to follow this template with my copper tape. And if it's not exact, that's completely fine. It's tape. It's not, not going to be perfect. Okay, and we're just going to use scissors to cut that part. So now we're going to take copper tape and do the second part of the negative circuit, which is this line here that connects to the battery. Corners are the trickiest part. And then we're going to run that straight across. Okay. And then the last section of the negative track is right here on the actual switch itself. And if it runs over the edge, that's completely fine. Okay, so as you can see, there's three parts to this negative track. And I'm going to use the scoring tool, burnish that copper tape into our template real quick. Make sure we get a good connection. That's this way. We have a part that's connected to the light. We have a part that's connected to the battery, and then we have this middle part, the switch, that's going to connect these two separate parts, causing the light to light up. So that way, when the switch is not flipped over, that means the circuit is deactivated and the light will not light. So now we can go on to the easier part of the circuit, and we can follow the positive track. And I'm going to go ahead 
and I'm going to make sure that the battery, I'm using a coin battery here, and I'm going to make sure the battery is positive side up so that the positive part of the tr circuit is touching the positive part of the battery. So I'll get that all the way up to the edge, and then I'm going to use the copper tape to hold the battery in place. So trim that. So it's right along this template here. Make sure that's secured right here and on top of the battery. Okay. Now the last part is to add the actual sticker light. And Chibitronics has a wide variety of colors. As you can see them all here. There is a pink, purple, it's an orange, green, blue, yellow, red, and white. And the sticker lights are indicated by the letters that are on them. So B for blue, Y for yellow, R for red. And today we're going to be using an orange sticker. And if you can see, it's kind of hard to see on in this video, but the stickers actually have a negative and a positive uh, symbol on them so that you know which way to put the sticker light. So we're going to place the sticker light down right inside of the space in the template. And as you can see, the light is not activated. However, when you flip it over, it lights up. So when we attach our card front, I'm just going to use lay these back to back with the front cover down, but the uh, template right side up. And I'm going to use some temporary tape here with a light hold. I'm gonna try and center that and lighten that up. Press that into that. So now when we flip it over and you press on the quote here, it causes the light to light up. So the last thing we need to do is attach this to our card base. So you can use some liquid adhesive. Just run it all over this back panel. And then you're just going to line it up on the front of the card base. And there's your card. So this way, you can lift this up and see the template so you can figure out, remember how you built it. Or if you wanted a more permanent fixture, you could always use foam tape and run it around the edge to give space for the battery and still be able to activate the light. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm just going to run foam tape. And this way you can see how... Um, you can run the foam tape over top of the, the copper tape and it won't affect anything. The light will still function. One other important note to make sure of is that your, your positive and negative tracks never touch. If they touch, then your circuit will not work. So if you're ever having issues, make sure that you check your template that you create and make sure that the positive and negative tracks do not touch. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put some foam tape around our switch. still works. Then I can come across here, just put a few strips down. Okay, 
So now I'm just going to go ahead and peel the backing paper off of the foam tape. And the amount of foam tape that you use completely depends upon the size of the coin battery that you're using. Uh, the battery that we're using today is pretty thin, so we don't need to use a lot of foam tape for this. But there's other coin batteries out there that are a little bit thicker, and so you might need to use one or two layers of foam tape. But as you can see, the circuit worked perfectly fine with the 2016 cell battery. Coin battery, sorry. Coin battery, not cell battery. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to place this right on top. Lining this up as best as possible. See? So now it's per more permanently on the card base. And there you go. Once again, we used Chibitronics sticker lights, which come in this wonderful sampler pack, um, and the copper tape to build this switch-activated light-up card featuring the hanging light stamp set from Alta New and some gold embossing powder from Ranger Ink. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and we can answer your questions. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.